I am bipolar and I'm worried that I can't live a normal life. Um, so I think I, I think we need to clarify first what we mean by this um, because it's, uh, it could be a compound noun, uh, which would be bipolar as a medical condition. Sexually open bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, in this week's Kickstand Picks, comedy and personal problems collide at an upcoming comedy show in Southeast Portland this Friday. It's called Leave Your Troubles at the Door. Yep, so as you could, I'm sure, tell, the show involves comedians offering advice to audience members' most troubling personal issues. <laughs> you don't need to call your doctor or your therapist anymore. This morning, we're learning about what it takes to turn somebody's problems into a joke. So on the couch with us now is Chris Hudson, the creator and host of Leave Your Troubles. We also have featured comedian Jamal Coleman. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate you being here bright and early. This yeah. is a funny concept. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, is, this is great. It also yeah. seems natural. Like, it does. It does. You can't laugh about your problems. Who is then? You can cry about them. Yeah. yeah. What inspired this show? Why, why create this? Well, I kind of thought about it like when I was hanging out with my comedian friends after shows and like we all have problems. Mm -hmm. You know, we might not turn it into like a bit or a joke, but we talk about it with our friends. So when I would talk about it with my comic friends, and I'm sure you've experienced this too, Jamal. Like, times. Like, <laughs> your, your comedian friends have the funniest takes on what you're going through, basically. <laughs> so, like, you know, you're having trouble at your, like, day job. You're having trouble with your girlfriend. And all of a sudden, like, a, 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 you know, a comedian will just talk to you about it and be like, you know, sounds like time for a new girlfriend, huh? Yeah. Like, you know, like, it just goes straight for, you know, the funny. And then, and then it you know. turns into the bit. Yes. Yeah. And it turns into a whole bit, and then everyone's riffing back and forth. And, yeah, so... I was like, well, why don't we just do that on stage with everybody's problems? That's awesome. With everyone, yeah, because A, you don't have to worry about yours, and B, <laughs> you get to make fun of the audience. Crowd work, you know, it's some people's jam, and it's difficult for other people. Jamal, how do you um, prepare for a show that you don't know what you're going <laughs> to even be talking about? I try to be as silly as possible, be as open as possible to any possibility, and, and uh, basically try to bring as much silly to the seriousness as I possibly can. Yeah, I was, I was curious about that too because I mean these are people's problems you know like you know so there is like a there's kind of this fine line between you know what is sensitive information but they're also giving you that sensitive information right. they know what they're getting into so how do you go about uh, performing and maybe prepping for a show like this with with that in mind? <laughs> Jamal's like ah. Uh. <laughs> You just have to, like, stay cognizant that, you know, you have to put yourself in their shoes, basically. Yeah. You're like, oh, well, what if I had this problem? Like, how would I think about it? Uh, we also give the option for people to stay completely anonymous. Uh -huh. yeah. So we're You can just go to the show. Right. Just yeah. go to the show. <laughs> Um, although if you do shout out, we're all going to know it's you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Do you guys have any, uh, and having done this before, any... Issues of peoples that come to mind is that were interesting <laughs> to um, confront or yeah. This is also a family-friendly program, yes. so <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I looked at a few from the past. Uh, I I believe my living room is haunted was one. Okay. Oh, seasonal. That is very seasonal. seasonal. Um, yeah, that's great. That's it's fascinating to. T I also can't imagine like contributing. I can't imagine like actually writing out a problem and giving it. I'll <laughs> yeah, thank you, Emma. That's great. Um, it is kind of interesting though to, to, I mean, I've said this several times with, with comedy, which it is therapeutic in its own way. This mm -hmm. might actually be a little bit more nail on the head. And I know that it sounded like a joke on the way in, but Jamal, why are shows like this maybe important in this day and age? Well, everybody has problems and we have to make light of it. We have to remember, you know, you have about maybe a hundred years, 80 years average on this planet and whatever your problem is that you're focused on, you need to laugh at it so we can take the power away from it so you can live a life and that's what this show is about. I Within a hundred years sounds like a problem. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't make my way about, that's a problem. No, it's funny because I'm a very make fun of my own self type of person. And in therapy, I've been like, ha ha, and you're going to tell me this is a bad coping mechanism. <laughs> and they're like, no, actually, like, it's just fine that you can make fun <laughs> of yourself. So is this cathartic for y'all, even though they're not your problems? <laughs> well, they're your problems now, because right. you have to yeah. know about it. I, th I think the only way that it's cathartic for comedians is if uh, the jokes that we're riffing on the problems get laughs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then it creates own, your own problems. It creates, yeah. 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 Yes. It creates 
creates her own problems. Yes, I, I did have a moment. I mean, we've done the show for maybe two, two and a half years now. I did have a moment on stage where like, well, now my problem is that I'm not being funny about this problem. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. it's, so. it's like I've created that for myself. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, if somebody's thinking about going, we're going to check out the show. So we're actually doing it this Friday, October 4th at Funhouse Lounge, 10 p.m. It is kind of a late night show, but that's kind of what makes it fun. Yeah, yeah it's like late for night. Sure. Let's see everybody's problems kind <laughs> yeah. of thing. Uh, we also, and I haven't even announced this yet, but we're also, if that's a little too late, 10 p.m., we're also doing it at Helium Comedy Club on October 30th. Nice, okay. yeah. nice. That's awesome. Well, if that ghost problem comes back up, you're going to have that <laughs> Halloween vibe dialed in for sure. Yeah, final so. question. What are you guys' deepest, darkest secrets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to do a comedy bit. We'll save that for after the break. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's funny. Chris and Jamal, awesome stuff. This is yeah, a great show. You. I love this concept. This yeah. is really cool. All right, and again, Leave Your Troubles at the Door is back. It's, again, Funhouse Lounge over on Southeast 11th Avenue. The show is Friday night. Doors open at 10 o'clock. And for a link to those tickets, check out their Instagram page that is at Leave Your Troubles. Emma, I feel like you would be